Hello YouTube people. Today I think I'm going to do a little bit of airbrushing. And I want to put this out there first. I am not the best at this. I do it whatever way I want to do it. And uh, turns out okay usually. But uh, I just want to do a little bit of airbrushing. I already pre-blacked uh, black this canvas. And uh, I'm going to start the first by throwing the skull on here and uh, just doing a little bit of airbrushing. And like I've always said, there's no rules. Don't care what anybody says. You know why? Because I do it my way, that's why. So here we go. Okay, let's see here. It's not for anybody in particular, so. This is just for uh, me to show you how I do a skull, I guess. Uh, yes, this is a stencil. Did I buy this? No, I did not. Made this myself on my Cricut thing that my wife bought me. Before that, I hand cut all my stencils. I'm not paying $25 for a sheet of stencils. I can do myself. So this plastic, just a fold, plastic folder, split in half. Got it at Dollar General. What, dollar, two dollars? And, uh, you know, my, the Cricut machine, it more than paid for itself after I made a bunch of these stencils. I can make decals and anything else. But, uh, yeah, it didn't cost me a cent just for the plastic. So, here we go. Now, the paint I use is Createx. Um, usually on white, it's opaque. Um, you can put reduced rent to thin it out a little bit. It has a tendency to clog on the end of your airbrush on the needle. Um, you have to constantly clean it. So I already put some reducer in here, thin it out a little bit. So um, I use an Iwata airbrush. And I also use an airbrush I got at Harbor Freight for $20 that I can use pretty much just as good as my Iwata. Um, you know, I've already cut my money back and every one I've ever bought. But uh, usually I use an Iwata so, uh, and create text paint. If you can see it, I'm going the wrong way here. But create text. They also make wicked collars and auto air collars, which I have both of. So, uh, we'll do a little painting. I always want to run a little bit of paint out. All right. Now, if I get some mover spray here, I'm not worried about it, you know, because more than likely I'll put some more skulls or some flames. Now, if I was doing this for somebody, I would tape it off more, you know, to prevent overspray. But um, this is just a video I'm doing for YouTube and uh, just playing around a little bit. So here we go. But I tried to uh, shoot toward the stencil instead of away because, you know, I have a tendency to go under the stencil. But like I said, you know, I can cover all that up if I need to. This is just a practice, mess around, you know, on this lovely Sunday. It's Sunday. So uh, here we go. I usually just go around the, around the outline first, find a short forward to end the inside the stencil. You don't have to make it real dark. This is just a guideline, really, to, uh, what you're going to paint, you know, and that's about it with that, so, and I can, oh, there you got a little sputter, I thought it was my fault, and I just add to the, the effect of the skull, a little bit of, in here anyway, so, like I said, there's no set rules for this, you can do it whatever way you want, 
you know, I don't care what people says, you know, you shouldn't either. I mean, it's sure art work. I mean, sure, you know, I would take a little bit more care, a little bit more time if I was doing it for somebody. But like I've always said, if it looks like crap, it's not leaving here. I always want to do the best job I can for someone. If it makes them happy, I'm happy, and that's it. So here we go, a little bit more paint. A little bit more splatter. It'll never hurt it. Might add to the effect of maybe this skull has freckles. All right. So you don't have to do it dark. Peel that off. Oh, looky there, looky there. All right. Well, I got the white in there. I can see what other skulls I got I can throw on here just for shits and giggles. Like I said, all these didn't cost me anything. Not a dime other than the plastic. So, put a couple skulls right here or something. Yeah, up here. There's no set way you can put, you can put these any way you want to put them, you know. Slider. That's just paint must be still a little bit thick. Yeah, catch up on the, on the airbrush, which uh, I usually clean off with a Q-tip. But yeah, you know, not really being careful for some reason. I mean, like I said, no rules. Just have fun, you know. Just have fun, you know. So. I just said that twice, didn't I? No rules. No rules. On a Sunday, did I say it was Sunday? Okay. Little overspray, never hurt nobody. Okay, do I want to put some more skulls? Eh, well, let's see here. We'll clean my airbrush out a little bit here. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, I'm going to try to see what we got here. Some more flames here. Freehand stuff here. Oh, I got the white in there. Let's have a little clog here. Needs a little bit more reducer. Thin out your opaque paint. White's usually the worst. Transparent are a lot better. Okay, I just There's no uh, rhyme or reason. Flames have no reason. Yeah. And cover just a little bit of that over spray. but it'll make it look even that much better I think I'm not fretting I am not fretting at all because I just do it my way you know life is short people just do it the way you want to do it you know make mistakes every you know everybody makes mistakes ain't nobody perfect so this is if I make mistakes someone has an opinion on how I'm doing it you know you do it your way, I'll do it mine, and we'll be happy. And it's Sunday. Now when 
you first start air brushing, you know, you're going to rely on stencils a lot. And yeah, I'm using stencils. But so does a lot of big car painters. They'll lay out their skulls or whatever they're airbrushing, a somewhat of an outline, and they'll go back in and freehand all the details, like teeth and stuff. Stencils, you can't cut out everything of a stencil or it'd fall in a million pieces. That's just a fact. So when you go back in to do teeth and stuff, you have to do all that freehand, or you can use a freehand stencil to get a fine, sharp line, and then go back in and do whatever you want. But when you first start out, a lot of people just plop a stencil on there and paint it, and that's great. That's the way you start. And you build up confidence over years. I mean, I, I've been doing it for a little bit, and I have no master at it whatsoever. So... You know, if you want to airbrush, you know, do it. I mean, just do it your way, you know. I mean, there's no real, real way of doing things. I mean, I mean you can put as many of these up. This is just the way I do, a little bit of flames. And then you can go in with a freehand stencil true. Like, you don't have to have, you know, a, like I said earlier in one of my other videos, you don't have to have, you can't go out and buy just a, a shape that says on there this is use this for true fire you can cut out any odd shape anything you know and use it to make flames because flames if you are at a campfire or, or whatever and you're sitting around drinking pop or beer or whatever having a good time watch the flames there's no rhyme or reason there's no set way there's no perfect flames it's just flames they have a whole life of their own. So there's no set way of doing it. So that's just my explanation. I could be wrong. Who knows? Yeah, like I said, if this... You know, on an airbrush, uh, when you're airbrushing something, it's going to look, look right. Hey, like an etching sketch. I'll get the black paint out, spray it over black again, do it over. You know, that's just like if you're painting a car or a motorcycle or something. It doesn't look right, sand it off, do it over. You know, the only thing you can't really do over is a t-shirt. You just got to get another t-shirt. Simple as that. I mean... You could try to hide it, but you just keep putting more layers and more layers of paint. And a t-shirt's only going to soak up so much paint. A hard surface, this, metal, wood, anything does not really soak in that much paint at all. Wood might a little bit, but canvas, metal, won't soak in at all. So it's a whole different ball game airbrushing than a t-shirt. T-shirt soaks in the paint. If you put too much paint on it, it'll start running all over the place. You get splatter marks. But it's just a whole learning learning thing. I haven't learned it all. I do many things. I do this, do woodworking and everything else. And uh, I'm not a master at any of it. I just do what I, I love to do. That's what, that's what God put me here for, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> I hope. I don't know. And you can overlap these skulls. There's no, like, you know, like I said, you overlap them, you go, you can go back, you know, put the eye sockets in and stuff. You can try, you can cover up the edges, install a little bit. You know, because the way they look so sensually like, I mean, like that, you know, just right at the top of it. The more, the heavier, white you put on it the brighter it's going to be when you put collar in there i mean whatever color you want you can put pink purple red green whatever color you want to put it don't matter i mean it don't have to be yellow red and orange for flames i mean why has it got to be that why can't it be a different color you know it could be pink you know whatever your preference is you know there's like i said there's no rules there's no rhyme or reason just have fun with it uh, it's not fun with it.
I mean, see that? I mean, looks okay, don't it? I mean, just wanted to make a YouTube video. People have been asking, you know, about a little bit of airbrushing. You know, like two people. In my... <laughs> I don't have a bunch of followers, you know. And I'm good with that, you know. You don't have to follow me, you know. I'm just a simple man from Ohio, Gloucester, Ohio. It's a small town. But a small shop. Basically, it's just me, really. Um, I have other people, you know, my buddy Jamie, you know, my son-in-law Ron, you know, Ira Perry. If I can get him back out here, I know you're listening, Ira. If you're watching this video, I know you're listening. And you are still, um, I don't want to say those kind of words on here, but badass airbrush artist. You know you are. You're a badass artist. need you to get back out here and show me how to paint. Because <laughs> unbelievable artwork, you know. But anyway, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot, a lot of friends and stuff. My whole family, you know. Anybody wants to come up here and paint? Or build something. Come on up. You know. I don't know everything. We'll learn together. I don't care. You know. Let's have a little bit of fun. You know. Life is short people. Life is short. Hey and I know I said it. It's Sunday. Well I'm going to put a little bit of white on here. And I'm going to change out. Change out to some black. And put some black in here. See what we can do. Um, whoever, you know, I don't know who's all watching my videos. Um, I haven't yet figured out how to look to see who exactly is uh, following me. But uh, give me a shout out, you know. Let me know what you think. Um, some of this stuff, um, uh, you know, I'll be painting some stuff this way. i uh, hand paint stuff or or whatever, um, I'm going to start uh, having a little online auction. Um, I'm not going to say it's an original idea. Um, a friend of mine on Facebook and Instagram, um, um, uh, he's got home, home uh, school cust uh, I think it's home school customs, I think. Makes wooden cars and stuff. His name's Denver. Um, he started doing some online auctions, and he does really well at it. And uh, I want to give a big shout-out to him. Um, you can check him out if you can find him. Um, but it's, I think it's Homeschool Customs, I think. I might be saying it wrong. But uh, anyway, he's right here in Ohio with me. Um, but he does immaculate artwork for us, um, wooden cars and stuff. So there's a big shout out to him. Um, excellent Denver. So anyway, I'm back to painting and uh, too much talking. People that know me know I love to talk. That's why I don't get nothing done. It's hard for me to talk and work at the same time, I guess. Get a lot of flattery down here, folks. I'm doing more talking and not watching my airbrush. But uh, like I said, this is just for my YouTube, you know. Just wanted to do a little painting. And I'll get back to my big rat rod that uh, my buddy Jamie gave me the idea for. And uh, I have to draw, draw, figure out what kind of body style I want, you know, for the car. Let's see what happens. You know, still get me splattered. That's my mistake, because of course, it is what it is. Isn't it, Rodney? It is what it is. All right, I think that's enough of that. I'm going to clean my airbrushes. I'm going to, I'm going to pause this for just a second. And I'll be right back. 
and we'll do some black paint and finish out one of these skulls. See what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Um, didn't take too long. Um, we'll put a little uh, bit of black in here. It gets the eyes darkened up a little bit. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That's not that one. That must be that one. Yeah. Alrighty. We'll start with the clear one here. Find where it's at. Do a little bit. Of, uh, uh, and, uh, like I said, these didn't cost me anything. Cut these out myself. Anybody can do that. I started out cutting them out by hand, and. Uh, Or cutting them out by hand, but um, this is a much simpler way, I guess. text paint you can get it at Hobby Lobby or online at the website they have wicked colors um, which is a more vivid color a lot better paint um, a little harder to use sometimes um, and if you're doing a car or motorcycle or something like that something that's going to be outside in the, in the, in the weather whatever they have auto they have auto air paint that you know you can use on on a motorcycle or car or whatever i like my airbrush holder okay i can see the skulls a little bit better now like i said there's no uh no rules of this. I can always go back in with white if I want to lighten something up. Put some shading in. You know. No rules. Do you have how you want to do this? Do uh, Whoa. I'm sorry, I dropped it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let me pause this for a second. Okay, I am sorry about that. Sorry about dropping the phone. Not perfect, I guess. Um, happens. Um, I didn't realize I didn't have it exactly on this. I must have bumped the phone or something. Um, trying to figure out what color I'm going to do this now. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, leave that to y'all. And uh, just uh, leave a comment if you want. And uh, I'll see what color we want to paint it. And if uh, nobody comments, that's fine. I will pick a color myself on the next video and uh, show you a little bit more. Like I said, I'm not perfect at this. I just do what, yeah, you know, best I can. Um, so it's Sunday. <laughs>
Thanks for following me. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Like me on uh, Facebook. Eight Up Designs. Um, until next time. Talk to you later. God bless.